Hi and welcome. I just arrived back from Superbooth and boy, it was quite the ride. It's uh, always a pleasure going to conventions when you know you're going to discover new things and uh, gear that's not available on the market yet. And uh, I believe there's some true innovation happening in the electronic music industry. So I was uh, super excited to uh, take a flight to Berlin and uh, see all the new gear that's uh, about to be released. If you're new to Superbooth, it's basically an electronic music trade show slash festival where hardware manufacturers and software developers gather for a couple of days to showcase new music gear. Everyone that basically has something to do with electronic music is there, so there's uh, big companies like Yamaha and Korg to more uh, niche and upcoming smaller companies. It's a great chance to meet the hardware manufacturers and the people behind the products that we use in our studios. While this was my personal first time at Superbooth, I can't speak highly enough about this arrangement, the people behind, the beautiful site, because it's located in a park slash forest called Fess, not the game Fess. And uh, there's always new things to discover and uh, the friendliness of the people at the show and the people behind the arrangement. At Superbooth I also got the chance to meet some fellow YouTubers like uh, Bo Beats, Aura, Liam Killen, Thomas Foster and many more. I obviously also got the chance to uh, exchange a few words with the people behind Bitwig Studio and while strolling the park I also bumped into this guy. The man, the myth, the legend behind the, the CLAP plugin technology, Alexander Vique. CLAP is basically an open source uh, plugin format that's now deeply integrated into Bitwig Studio. Finally, I also got a chance to meet some of the people that enrolled my Bitwig Studio Masterclass and some of you guys that uh, just uh, watched my videos on YouTube. And it's always super fun to talk to you guys and hear what kind of content you like on my channel and what you want to see in the future here on my channel. Okay, I think it's due time we talk about my favorite things from Superboot. 2023. If you follow my channel you know I'm a piano player at heart and uh, so I got a chance to speak with Christopher Hans at Expressive E about the new Osmos synth. The Osmos synth basically takes uh, the MIDI controllers into the future with a totally new and innovative keybed. So you have new ways of uh, playing expressive with the keybed. So unlike your old trusty MIDI keyboards, with the Osmos synth you have much more performance options. Like you can wiggle the keys to do like pitch bends and this also works on multiple keys at the same time. So it's uh, a polyphonic uh, MIDI controller with the new MPE technology. And the Osmos also has uh, many other performing techniques, which we might dive into in a later video. What I also liked about the Osmos and the team behind this instrument is uh, that they put a lot of effort into the design and the build quality. And it's also awesome that they licensed the sound engine from Haken Audio. I actually met the guy behind um, the Haken Audio at the NAMM 2020, but uh, Basically, they have an audio engine called the Egan Matrix and it can do FM, virtual analog and also physical modeling synthesis. So within the Osmos there's uh, tons of awesome sounding presets that utilize uh, this kind of MPE technology. Now I know that everybody's going to have their own favorite from a big trade show like a super booth, but uh, the Osmos really clicked with me because it feels like the next generation of a keyboard and uh, a really natural step in uh, the performance options that you can have on a keyboard. Right, some, some more worthy mentions from uh, the show is of course uh, the new analog heat effects version from uh, Electron. While the original analog heat was basically made to beef up your master mix with uh, like saturation and overdrive, the new analog heat effects adds uh, compressor, tape emulation, reverbs and delays. And it's also awesome that you can rearrange the different effects in various ways to suit your specific um, effect chain. Erika Synth, which is uh, another innovative uh, synth company, showcased a new uh, synth module called the Steam Pipe. So let's uh, have a quick listen. 
So this steam pipe is also something new and feels uh, fresh and innovative in, in the synth field. Another booth uh, that rocked my shoes at Superbooth was uh, the Dreadbox booth where they showcased uh, a new synth module called Telepathy. Telepathy is an uh, analog synthesizer Eurorack module with deep modulation, and I really enjoyed their demo. Telepathy will be available as a single uh, Eurorack module, but you can also buy a bundle with a modular case and six uh, telepathy modules and one psychosis module, which is basically your mixer module, so you can connect these together and play them polyphonically or in unison. Right, so that's a quick walkthrough of uh, my super booth and my favorites from uh, the convention. Now I'd like to hear what your favorites are from the super booth 2023 show is. Please write me in the comments. My name is Matthias, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.